Jones, how are you gonna find that statue and all this junk? It's some kind of funeral urn. It's a copy of an Egyptian statue of Horus. It's a medieval gargoyle, or a good imitation. Poor Marcus, he thought this was a Maasai warrior. Label says unidentified potsherds. Marcus thought potlatch Indians carved this. Looks like a movie prop to me. Looks like textiles from the Shamit collection. Looks dangerous. I think I've read them all. I don't need them. They're just textbooks. It's an old lecture hall desk. These books don't look familiar. Uh-oh. Better get that roof checked. A cheap copy of a Siamese idol. Here's what I've been searching for. Strange looking thing. I wonder where Marcus picked it up. I'm back. Indy? 
You don't look at all well, Dr. Jones. Exploring our collections can be dangerous, Mr. Uh... What was your name again? Smith. Tell me, did you find a lock to match my key? You bet I did. Take a look. What are you waiting for? Let's open it. Why not? It's an obvious fake. You may think so, Doctor, but I believe we are opening a new chapter in history. My word, India, a small metal bead. Jewelry, perhaps? I still think it's a fake. Then you won't mind if I take it. Really, Mr. Smith? Stand back, gentlemen. I hope you've got a getaway car waiting. You'll need one. Hmm. What is fights? He got away. But we got his coat, Marcus. Hey, what's this? Klaus Kerner, huh? Good lord, Indy. The man's some sort of agent from the Third Reich. What does the spy want for the Buddhist statue? <sighs> I lied, Marcus. I don't think it's a phony. I can't place the style, but it's old. Look what else our friend was carrying. An old copy of National Archaeology. And there you are in Iceland. Yeah, field supervisor for the Jastro expedition. My first real job. Who's the woman? Sophia Hapgood. She was my assistant. A spoiled rich kid from Boston, rebelling against her family. Where is she now? She gave up archaeology to become a psychic. How odd. You can say that again. Indy, Kona found you. What if he finds her? We should warn the woman. You're right. I want to know more about that statue. You know, Marcus, the coldest year of my life was the one I spent in Iceland with Sophia. This was taken a long while ago, when I thought we might like each other. Imagine the suckers who actually pay to see Sophia's Lost World lectures. Hello there. The show sold out, sir. No seats, no standing room, no exceptions. Excuse me. Come back next week. The doors are locked, sir. It's today's paper. I can't make a call. I'm out of nickels. It's a crate. Hmm, it's unlocked. What do you want, pal? This ain't no ticket office. I'm here to fix the lights. There's nothing wrong with the lights. 
Now get lost! Wait a minute. Yeah, what for? I'm with the band. Madam Sophia doesn't have a band. Wait a minute. What now, buddy? I really need to talk to your star. Stop, you're breaking my heart. I think there's a misunderstanding here. Are you calling me stupid? Well, what do you think? I think I'm tired of fancy Dan College boys who use big voids, and I think you's better apologize. Well, why should I, you fat tub of lard? That's it, wise guy. Put up your dukes. I guess I got lucky. I'm not sure I want to do a lot of fighting. Excuse me. Aha! You must be the new doorman. About time they got rid of Biff. He was such a pushover. I want a reading with Miss Hapgood. Are you crazy? During the show? Write a letter. Hold on! Take it easy and watch the show. Here, my friends, is Atlantis. As it might have appeared in its heyday. Glorious, prosperous, socially and technically advanced. Beyond our wildest dreams. Five thousand years ago, while everyone else still wore animal skins, the mighty spirits of Atlantis dared to build a city where knowledge and power were united in true happiness. Centuries later, the famous philosopher Plato wrote about it. He placed Atlantis on a continent out in the deep ocean and described how it was divided into three circular parts, such as you see here. Isn't she something? She can go on for hours. Hey! She's just coming to the exciting part. What befell the serene city? We may never know for sure. Was it the sea level, slowly creeping higher? Or the earth itself, suddenly shifting? However it happened, panic must have gripped the citizens. On that fateful day when proud Atlantis sank beneath the waves. Or, perhaps it was a volcanic eruption, and something remains even now. On some questions, the great spirit who guides my thoughts, the all-seeing Nurab Sal, is silent. I've been through this a hundred times. The woman never stops. Hey! She's still talking. Hey! She's still talking. Excuse me. Yeah, what now? 
You look tired. Wouldn't you like to call it a day? Nah, sooner or later I get to run the ghost out there. That's always a big moment. Excuse me. Yeah, what now? Madam told me to tell you you're fired. What? You can't fire me! Oh no? Take a look at my wallet. A bribe? Who do you think you're talking to?